Shoppers, Anybody Podcast, episode goddamn 79. It's hot in this motherfucker, but we doing it. We got the uh, we got the homie man, Wiz Kid, Silly V. What's the way to do? He said say the whole thing or don't say it at all. Yes, <laughs> gotta say the whole thing. It's like a trap called quiz. Man, what's good with you, bro? Man, I can't call it with a Metro G. Man, we've been talking about this shit for a long time, dog. Man. <laughs> When you first did it, I was like, hey, bro, hey, <laughs> hey, I see you over there with my man's cheese and stuff, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, bro, yeah. like, cheese of the champ, you know, we started together and stuff. Hell yeah, so Ooh. nigga, and then, because I, I had to tell, because one nigga, one chick got mad as hell at me for not, I'm like, I had to tell her, that I had to, that's why I had to make the video, like, I'm like, listen, I'm like, I'm not holding you, I'm like, I just got to make sure I was trying to get so many people, I had to tell so many people, yes, I had a whole fucking list, so I'm like, I'm knocking this shit down. Nigga, she nigga went off and I'm like, man, fuck you. I'm good. I blocked her ass. Like, I ain't blocked her ass. I deleted her ass. They're like, dog, why are you tripping so hard, man? Blacklist. Hell yeah, for sure. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. But no, we gonna get we we definitely gotta get on um, the cheesy and shit and you and cheesy and all that good shit. We gonna, man. that's gonna that's gotta be later on though. But man. for for now though, you gotta do we do something called salute me while I'm here, man. Matter of fact, uh, I I can start. I'm gonna start off because I ain't had nobody, but I got some this t- somebody this time. So salute me while I'm here. You gotta do, salute somebody who's not in your inner circle. So no mom, no dad, no lady, or no kids. It gotta be somebody out of that family. You know what I'm saying? That 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 inner family. So if you gotta think, I'm gonna just salute somebody real quick. I gotta salute my wife, cousin. I know you listen to this shit, cause he he the one nigga who posts my shit all the time. Name Kevin Thompson, dog. That's our that's our cousin. He always showing love. He ain't just sharing Joe Button podcast and shit like that. He be sharing my shit all the time and he be having the whole shit to show his most frequent uh p- a podcast that they listen to and I'm one of them so I wanna make sure I show him some love because a lot That's of times real. niggas you be with every day won't show your shit love, but it be a nigga who you just That's met real. yesterday. That's real. Who'll show you hella love. So yeah, that's my shout out for uh, my nigga Kev. Well shoot, I'm gonna have to give a shout out to my boy Snow Game Diggs. I'm gonna okay. put it like this. Bro, when I first started, I was working in the basement, bro. And then I'm working to another basement, bro. Mm-hmm. My man was like, yeah, bro, I'm going to go get a studio. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, bet. He was like, you want to help me out? I'm like, bet. <laughs> I'm like, all right, let's go up to the studio, start working on the shit. Dude. This ain't no nigga was like, hey, a room open up up the, up the hall. You want that, bitch? I'm like, <laughs> the hell, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> that sure. nigga like, all right, it's yours. I'm like, you Damn. playing, bro. Yeah. Like, hands down, bro, the man went out. Bought the extra shit that I needed, yeah. bigger speakers, For sure. bigger interface. I'm like, bro, <laughs> like, nigga, like, what I owe you back, like, type <laughs> shit, like, <laughs> I know I get you something. <laughs> like, where's the paperwork that you trying to put on my goddamn body and shit? Duh. But you know what I'm saying, bro. But you know what I'm saying, you get some real niggas like that, bro. I ain't yeah, gonna lie, duh. you really do get some real niggas in your life, nigga. I got a couple of real niggas in my life, but. Like lately, that's the that's the one that's been the biggest though. Yeah, hell yeah. Then it be, it be, it be crazy because you. I mean, at the end of the day, don't nobody owe you shit. Exactly. But it be like you would be expecting like yo day one niggas to show love, but it's like nigga, I'm about to delete my my, my regular my regular I, IG page. That bitch don't get no love. <laughs> my podcast page get hella love. The niggas who been knowing me since I was fucking eight, nigga, they don't say shit. I get the same niggas to like my shit. <laughs> hey, nigga, what you say on there? Dog. Huh? What you say on there? What you mean? I just post. I post a lot of the same shit I post on my podcast page. Exactly. Like your comparison. Your fuck about Hey, hey, but nigga, hey, but, <laughs> I, post, I post my son, nigga. I got a hundred niggas that like my son. Exactly. My, my daughter and shit. Exactly. We care about that. No, they, yeah, hey, that's true. That's we true. don't care about your damn work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. So that's why I be like, man, fuck that. I'm about to be bro, on the podcast listen, page. Listen. I got that. I've been doing music for a minute, bro. Yeah, you have. Until I got a Sada baby on my goddamn beat, nigga. Mm-hmm. Nigga was like, "Oh, you do music?" Like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Funny you say that shit. I was doing podcasts. I did about eighty episodes. Well, I'm on seventy nine, so I couldn't. But you know what I'm saying. I did so many episodes, but as soon as they seen. Uh, uh, Doughboy Dre Oh you doing big things You're Like what Like nigga This a nigga <laughs> So So I went and bought the shit What big things like, And then I had uh, My man uh, My man I'm having a brain fart dog My man will be in McGraw Ave and shit dog What's my, what's, uh, damn, what's my uh, dog damn. name? Thomas Harris. Thomas Harris. I get Thomas oh, yeah. Harris on yeah, I'm going to be mad because that, hey, that nigga is like one of the most coldest niggas in the movies right yeah, now. Bro, sure. I be mad but I forget that nigga name. Yeah. Like, bro. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I feel like I feel like that nigga Mac. Like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> no, you silly. And he a good nigga because like I said, I just sent him a message and he was like, bet, I'm, I'm down. So he like the first quote unquote 
name on my show. Right, and then as soon as I post that motherfucking picture, oh, nigga, we see you. I think you didn't see me fucking 20 episodes ago. Right. Like, I've been doing this Fuck shit. that. You didn't see me when I picked the fucking microphone up and started saying, hey, yo, this is my <laughs> goddamn podcast. No. Tune in every... I'm like, yeah, God damn, yeah, bro. Sure. You no. can't even my respect for that. Niggas definitely ain't going to stamp you until you have a name on your shit. Then they going to look. They going to feel like, okay, he about to take off. Nigga her was like, bro, you did that before what's the name? Yeah. Like, bro, you were sitting at the damn table when I made it, bro. <laughs> no, like, sure, come man, on, man, bro. Man. Well, shit, man, before we get to the, that shit, though, how you started working with the music and shit, dog. Talk about when you was motherfucking little, uh, uh, a little whiz in the crib, dog. Whiz kid, silly V. When you were oh, young, man, a young man, motherfucker, dog. How I, was, I know where you from and shit. Well, you might not be from there. You might have just been there when crazy, I got there. Crazy, right? Crazy, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, nigga, you got some money. Let me turn off no scam likely. Hey, it might be some money and shit. Scam, it's definitely, it's definitely scam oh, likely. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is a scam likely, yeah, though. Definitely scam likely. I don't fuck that shit happened, nigga. Like, damn, nigga just be calling your shit. But no, how, how was though? Where you grew up at? Who was in the crib, man? All right, say, so. All that good shit. Growing up, you know what I'm saying? I grew up over on Greeley and Dequindy first. Okay. Uh, my mother and my brother was, like, my brothers was there at the time. Mm hmm. That's around my time my father's alive. They we moved over to Nottingham. When we moved to Nottingham, that's yeah. when you start seeing me more because I started going to my grandparents' house over in East Warren. Okay, so yeah, that was your grandparents' house on East Warren. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. But I was always over there because I hated being on Nottingham. Bro. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like I would rather hang with the Southeastern kids at the time than yeah. the Dibby kids because yeah. Dibby kids was on swell the shit. Yeah, like yeah, for sure. you know, like get off the bus, punch a nigga. Like bro, yeah, y'all niggas just <laughs> doing too much, bro. No, hell like, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Like so, you know what I'm saying? I'm hanging over there. Yeah. So at the time, where I'm over on East Warren, I'm, yeah. I don't you know, what I'm saying, start playing basketball and everything. That's why I started meeting all uh, everybody over there in that circle. Yeah. I ain't even really meeting everybody because my grandfather was a pastor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The I know. The church yeah, of Benito yeah. and uh, Mac and Benito, which my fa my brother uh, took over. He's the pastor over there now. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, went from there. I went to Crowlick first. Yeah. And then I left Crowley. from Crowlick. I went to St. Brendan's and then St. Lutheran. Yeah. Which kept me back over on Nottingham all the time. Yeah, then yeah. I went from that, from St. Lutheran to Mount Calvary. That's oh. where I did all my sports and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then, that's ain't no I'm growing up over in the Nets, over at the project, you know, yeah. certain, uh, Northeast of Journey Truth Homes over in Nevada East. Shit, I'm, I'm, I want to know. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, East Nevada is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. The projects over there. I okay. was growing up with my nephews and all that over there. Yeah. And I got to meet a lot of them over there, which yeah. started getting my bond and knowing, you know, saying a lot of the Dequinter people that where I was born at. Yeah. Start hanging out over at East Warren. That's how I get to know yeah. all the people that I knew over there and yeah, yeah. the people over on Goddamn Nottingham. I met. One old dude yeah. who sent me over to Levine House yeah. to send me over to PLG House <laughs> and send me over to I'm bro and that's they know it. That's how I got to start to yeah. doing everything else. Hell yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. So they, so this whole time I'm thinking that you lived on motherfucking Herbert, dog. Bro, but the thing is, bro, you saw me so much. Yeah. You really thought. Like, yeah. bro, even hey, I was there winter, summer, <laughs> like, school, like during he, the school season, bro. I hated being on Nottingham, bro. Oh yeah, cause he uh, he stayed next door to my nigga, my nigga BT and his family, dog. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas was... Some... my cousins, bro. Them your cousins? Yes. The oh, Wilson shit. family's my cousins, This whole time bro. I thought y'all was, was friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That, thing got that whole back. block damn near fucking family, bro. Dog, that's true as hell. Damn. I, damn but yeah, I... I remember back in the back then, like, yeah. most blocks was really yeah. family-oriented. For or... sure, for sure. Hell yeah. And them niggas, dog, like, them niggas, them niggas uncles, nigga, like, Something happened over here. Them niggas, nigga, on your oh, ass. ass. Yeah. On your ass. Yeah, shout out BT. BT was a, a, a hooping ass nigga, man. He was BT, fucking, baby Kevin. Nigga, six he fucking, nigga uh, six, 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 seven. Yeah, Terrence. Motherfucking Kev. Little Chris who stayed right in between y'all. Uh, little Chris and little Micah. Oh, shit, yeah, bro. Chris, yeah. Bring hey, back on baby. Hold on, hold on, Chris, Chris and little Chris. No, that nigga, that nigga healthy. Nigga, that nigga ain't good. <laughs> boy, I read, so I said, boy, you both healthy. Is he? That was so cute. I said, I know, I know you. Yeah, dog. That's how I was. I saw that nigga downtown. We was at Nicky's and shit, dog. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, well, shy. I'm like, damn, nigga. Bro, I gotta stop going to Nicky's because that's where you are. You know, meeting all your old hood friends and shit. Man, hell so yeah. You go down there, you got there, get a, you'll get a drink at the bar. And nigga be like, what up, Q? He be like, bro, that ain't my name no more. <laughs> hell yeah, dog. But no, yeah. So uh, you mentioned that your uh. Your pops was, uh, you know, your granddad was the pastor, right? Yeah, my grandfather was a pastor. Hell yeah! So like, nigga, was your, was your, uh, was your household like, like super into into the church? Like, was Heck they, you know, were they my, super strict on you about that? 
Hell no. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. My grandma, my grandma really gave me the chance to actually pick what the hell I wanted to do. For sure. Like my grandfather, if it was his choice, oh yeah, I've been yeah. eat, sleep, drink, church. Like, yeah, yeah. but my grandma, it's like you know what I'm saying. Let you pick. Our, you already go to Lutheran school. Like yeah. they already shoving it down your, you know what I'm saying, down your goddamn head through there. Hell yeah. So like, why am I gonna have to force it? And you ain't gonna not gonna like it yeah. yourself. You know for what I'm sure, saying? For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, so what? What really? What? What ended up happening was my grandmother. And my grandfather went on the weekend. I would go with them and go to church. My yeah. mother was a choir director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would go to church with her too. And I ended up playing drums for a church, which for sure. got me into and church. See, <laughs> and, and, and now you say that, I do, I do remember seeing you with, you know what I'm saying, good suit on mm -hmm. and shit on Sunday. Shit. Had, bro, shit over there. <laughs> bro, listen. listen. It, it's bad, bro. Listen. Because you try to hang with them, be bad, right? But your granddaddy best friend, church, is right across the street from the court. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Hell Reverend yeah. Burnett come outside just looking at you like, what's up? Hell yeah, I see sure. you. Duh. But then, right. see, I, I ain't going to say I hated churches. No, I don't hate churches. Let me say, I hate small churches where you can shake everybody's hand in one spot. Cause I feel like those churches take forever to end. Like, <laughs> when I went to my uncle's church, where he used to go to, it's like, dog, we was there from like 8 to eight to, eight to 11. Go home, eat a little motherfucking lunch. Go back. 12 to 3. Go home. <laughs> Like, check damn. this though, but check this though. <laughs> I'm Those in churches here. be the real churches. The that's ones true. that you, hey, the ones that be short that be the ones that want your money. money. Yeah, 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 that's true. <laughs> you got they be like, all right, we got three more services to do. I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. Because if you got some, if you got some marriage issues, he gonna come counsel you and shit, dog. Here's your blessing. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny as hell, dog. So the high school you went to was what? I went to Hart Academy. Hart Academy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you? Would you? Uh. Would you fucking around with the sports then, or you just let it go? Bro, ain't no sports in Hard Academy, Real? bro. Damn. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. It's like the name of Hard Academy. <laughs> that would be a whole ass school, bro. Got hard to say, They can talk about sports at Hard Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Hard like motherfucking jerseys and shit. Dog. We won't be the Hard Academy Care Bears. Like that? Where that, dog? Eight Mile and Vernon, bro, across the street from um Eastland Mall. Damn, I knew I heard that shit. That's where the church. Hey, is now. You know, it, you know what it is now. The church. Trial. trial yeah. <laughs> no, hey, look, trial took hard a whole Academy, school nigga, and Academy closed was, it. Hard it. Academy was one hallway, nigga. Like you could have kept the school though. Like, dog, Hard Academy was one hallway, nigga. Hey, fat, fat, fat. Not no. one hallway, bro. We had two. Nigga, <laughs> I remember, hey, it, nigga, it, 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 it was a queue. I stayed right, I stayed, I stayed right across the street, dog, in, in, the, in the village. Right before I had, uh, that's before I had moved over in Cooper, dog. I stayed in Eastland Village. So I remember that shit, because in the, in the parking lot, they used to have their motherfucking, um, they little, uh, what's that shit? They fairs. Yep. So they used to have a fair over there. That's the first time I threw up, nigga, on some shit, dog. Got, got on a ride, nigga. I'm throwing my ass off. Hey, they, they used to do like the little, um, what you call that little bomb, the little bomb thing where they uh try to display how you supposed to get out of the school when the bomb, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 bomb yeah. tag. Yeah. Bro, they extend this to a building across the street. A whole building across that's the street. No, like, no, no, like no. what kind of shelter is that? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you, you mentioned, you know what I'm saying, you grew up in your household, you had brothers and stuff, and your, uh, you had any sisters? Uh, no, I had all uh, brothers. Uh, well, the name Quincy, five brothers. It was five sons. I'm the fifth son. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my father... I guess had a friend named Quincy there. He was like, yeah, but then it actually made sense because I was the fifth child. So okay. yeah. after that, I was just happy that they didn't call me Quentin. It, yeah. it would have it, 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 it hurt it. Niggas call, they call you Quince? Maybe he's called this nigga Quince. No, they just call me Quinn, bro. Yeah, Quince Quinn. Q. Hey, hey Quinn. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Damn. Like, fam. Because the, the only other Quincy's I know, though, was off of uh, Juice. Nigga, GQ? That nigga real name was Quincy and shit, dog. Hey, fam. Like, it's even worse when you go to the jeweler. Like, nigga, I want a Q chain. They be like, bro, we don't got no Q for you. Like, <laughs> 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 that bitch is gone, dog. <laughs> gone as hell, dog. Damn, like, I got to make a nickname with a goddamn popular <laughs> letter and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker Q do be gone like a motherfucker, dog. <laughs> 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 they don't make them, bro. Damn, that's crazy, <laughs> dog. Now, uh, like, we, like, I like, bro, bro, think of five Q names you can think of right now in the mail. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Can't think of that bitch, dog. God damn, man. No, now, uh, usually when you get your motherfucking musical influences, it'd be like shit that you heard your mom and your pops or 
your older siblings playing though. Who's some niggas that you was liking just off your motherfucking mom, dad, grandparents? Like, who was some who was some people they was listening to that you find yourself like, damn, I like this shit. Uh, shoot, sure. my father was like a big Parliament and George Clinton fan. Oh shit, he was smoking weed. <laughs> my father grew weed in the bed, <laughs> man. Uh, shit, nigga. My brother used to have me listening to like Dana Dane, yeah. Devin the Dude, Slick Rick. Oh, hell yeah. Like, nigga, yeah. I, I like story type raps, bro. Yeah. So it's like, them niggas is actually saying some crazy shit to me. Then I had my cousins who kept me listening to the Lil Wayne's yeah. and the Dipsets. And hell yeah. So, like, everybody had their hand in. Rest in peace, Hey, well, rest in peace to all the other niggas. My nigga Cam showed the fuck out, kicking Duh. niggas and shit. My nigga <laughs> kicking niggas and shit. <laughs> hey, hey, fam. Hey, hey, he a real one, because I don't know how I would feel either. Man. Nigga sit at my feet, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Duh. Hey. That shit funny as hell, dog. But yeah, dog, so uh, what about your mom? Well, she she was into music. And my music? mother's a choir director. Okay, so that's when you got that? Uh, I, I got I got that from uh, her and then just being around a lot of like music influences. My brother a rapper yeah. and he got producer friends. Yeah. And then you know what I'm saying, ended up meeting like the Walker family, P. O. G. Levi A Leon yeah. and um shit. You no know, Sage. All yeah, them yeah. niggas was like, Yeah, you gotta act for this. Yeah, like for you, sure. you might not know what you're playing, but you know how to put them keys together. So yeah, yeah, yeah. like That's a little start. Come, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what nigga tell me this, give me a a CD or album, dog. Every time you hear that shit, it just take you back to a time, dog. Good or bad, like. Every time you hear the song, then you think about Keisha. You got your ass whooped by your mama. Anything, dog. Man, what uh? You got we gonna go uh? The good outcast. Okay. That 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 uh speaker knock. Hey, that speaker box of love below. Oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? It it, it make you remember about them times when the nigga didn't have a car. <laughs> Nigga, that's been the worst time, niggas. Nigga, to walk on a Walkman. Nigga, walk uh, niggas. Hey, hey, first of all, I had to see through Walkman. So you <laughs> can see the CD. You can <laughs> see the CD. Nigga, walk me, but then you gotta make sure you got the right pants for them bitches, though, nigga. Cause you can't. I, I used to put it in the book bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, cause hey, niggas' pants are too tight, nigga. <laughs> bitch, you got that bitch fighting your goddamn pants, get the hey, bitches fam, out of here. Hey, fam, I wear a 2830, bro. Like, Man, <laughs> that nigga. I swear. <laughs> 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 that bitch, what? Hey, a, a regular cassette Walkman will fit in my. Oh, you had no Walkmans, nigga. You had that motherfucker, uh. Remember that the fucking um the headphones, some cheap ass headphones. <laughs> the little, little pumps on the, the, the little pumps on the end. And then you got you press that little button for the extra bass in that bitch, nigga. But then that bitch is bring your battery. <laughs> so then you gotta make sure you got some extra batteries in. <laughs> you never bitch hear all the beat like doom. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, you're on the beat. Nigga. Nigga, that bitch. Plug that bitch in the record ride. button and start talking to that bitch. You can record it. It's a microphone, too. You know that, right? Duh, I never did that shit. Oh, yeah. I usually use that bitch as a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take a headphone and be like, all right. Duh. Let's go. Nigga. One right here to listen. The other one right here to rock their rapping. Let's go. Duh, nigga, funny as hell, duh. Hell no. <laughs> so, shit, you, you, you talking about that shit. Matter of fact, my man funny as hell. That nigga, this nigga on the last episode was talking about bad that thing up. As like the song he remembering, I I low key that's the song that hey, take like, me back to a time. Nigga, I like, used to real. love that song until I heard backs that thing up. Nigga, what the fuck wrong with Manny Fresh, dog? Nah, it ain't got nothing to do with Manny. <laughs> that was all Juvie. Dog. Juvie was like, I need a PPP loan. Man, <laughs> them niggas said vax that thing up. That nigga said you a what? Vax that thing up. I said, said you, 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 <laughs> we going there? Yeah, you a fine, hey, you, you a fine young man. Look, vax that thing look, up. Like, and bro. I knew it wasn't right because. Who wasn't there? Lil Wayne wasn't there. They had put some little girl that had her neck doing this thing. <laughs> no, no. And then they be, <laughs> after no. you, baby. Like, all right. Like, I don't like, know how much money you got for that shit, dog. Probably good little 1500. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, that they shit, got a stimulus check. A <laughs> they got a stimulus check. the hell out of that motherfucking shit, dog. Bro, listen, I would have roasted that shit too if I was one of them niggas. Cause it's a little hot down here. Oh, fuck her. <laughs> Forehead a little moist and <laughs> shit, dog. <laughs> but no, oh, got them, put the Vegeta got them hat off. Like, nigga, I'm gonna have to go Vegeta around this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, dog, when you like, we we we've been talking about the music and who you was around and and all that shit. And, like, when did you? At what age were you heavy into like? Into music, like I want to do this shit. I want to make beats, or however, well, did you want to make beats first? You want to rap? Like what was? It? I wanted to make beats. Uh, yeah. my brother had a Dr. Groove drum machine, a Roland 
bro. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, when, like, Kendall and all used to be like, yeah, we about to go out to Pingree go, like, hang out and shit. Yeah. I used to steal that shit out of my brother's room, put the headphones on and be up there, have some batteries in there, sitting at the slides at Pingree Park, yeah. making beats. Yeah, for sure. And then I'm like... So that, what, what age was that? That's like, probably... 13, 14, bro. Oh, so you early you wanted to do that shit. I had, like, niggas, I was like five fucking feet, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. What else could I do? <laughs> I know I didn't want to, hey, I knew I somehow didn't want to have a fucking job. Yeah, hell yeah. So, Cause I ain't gonna lie, I, like, I tried, I made sure that I didn't want a job. I tried every fucking thing that I can try, bro. Yeah. And, like, everything was like, yeah, buddy, you don't like being told what to do. Now, what was the, what was the, what was the, what was the worst, like, the whole ass job you had? Like, these nigga, you hate that bitch. Like, what was the worst one, dog? Hey, bro, nigga, that worked at the goddamn fucking Bubba 33. Who? Bubba 33. Bubba it's 33. A, <laughs> <laughs> Texas Roadhouse. Dude. It's a Texas Roadhouse chain, right? Yeah. Bro, it's out on, like, Hall Road, bro. Damn. Right. That's just like some Hall Road shit. Right. Now, <laughs> after a while, like, this is like, okay, I just need some money. I'm just going to do it. I don't want to get a job job, so I'm just going to do a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Everything cool and dandy until I got a goddamn uh, allergic reaction. Yeah. The motherfuckers was like, uh, we don't know what to do. Yeah. You don't know what to do. Duh. Call an ambulance or something like. like go, go, go ahead, go to the hospital. I said these motherfuckers let me go straight to the hospital, Duh. bro. Duh. I'm having an allergic reaction. They let me drive myself to the hospital. Duh. I said, fuck oh. you. Where's your reaction from? <laughs> Bro, shrimp, bro, like, my man cleaned the shrimp. When he, before he sent the shrimp back to me, he's supposed to <laughs> bleach the goddamn shit now. Yeah. He didn't bleach the shit. Like, he literally been doing this shit, like, back to back. Like, he almost like, yeah, I'm going to kill this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill me a nigga to death. <laughs> 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 nigga been swollen. <laughs> <laughs> bro, listen, listen. It's worse when you got to sit here, you been working and working and working, and you don't know that shit happening. You don't know that shit at all. Yeah. And then you... Everybody been looking at you. Not one person say a blessed <laughs> word to you about it. You go to the bathroom, look in the mirror, like nigga, I don't look like I came. <laughs> <laughs> no, I up, like yeah. nigga, y'all know I don't look like this in real life, <laughs> or do y'all? <laughs> 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 so I bet you work with all white motherfuckers. Man, white and Mexicans, bro. Duh, so yeah, hey, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Hey, I used to play a lot of Mexican music just to see the Mexicans react. Man, hey, I'm, 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 that, I'm that black person. Like, if I ever got that job with just like a whole bunch of Indians, I'm going to play Indian music just to see if they going to like me. Uh, uh, like, I, 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 hope Indians don't get mad at this, dog. I was doing security at this hospital. I remember Indians was, uh, I guess one of them had a baby. So they all had came up there, nigga. The worst smell I ever smelled in my life, dog. Like, nigga, I, I was about to throw my nigga. Because, like, what, what it is, like. Family, I learned how to adjust your nose. Nigga, I couldn't adjust that shit, dog. Because when you were security, nigga, if there's so many people in the room, I, you got to watch the room for some reason. I, or I don't know if they were being racist. I grew up in Somalian country of uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. Yeah. And, uh, you better learn how to adjust your nose. God, yeah, <laughs> like, dog. the hallway smells like uh, spices every day. <laughs> dog. But, hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. They the coolest people in the fucking world, bro. Man, they might not no. want you to date their girls, and you hell know what I'm no. saying. But nigga, they the coolest yeah. motherfuckers in the world. They share, they share everything. They give you the shirt off the back. You might not want it, but they they give you the shirt. Off the back. <laughs> <laughs> hell no, you ain't gonna want that shit, dog. Hell no. So nigga, you 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 into the beats, dog? Give me your top three producers, bro. Ah, uh, Manny Fresh. Damn, you a good nigga, dog. That's my, that's off my, that's off, my, that's off top, off hell top, hell Manny yeah. Fresh. You know, um. Listen, I'm a Bay Area type nigga, so droopy on the beat. Yeah. And then right now, I ain't gonna lie, um, it's up in the air. But like when I first started making beats, the yeah. person that I was watching the most was Ke on the track, yeah. cause he just had Atlanta on fire. Yeah, he like a dark, this dark skin nigga. Yeah, big yeah. dark skin nigga. Like he had Atlanta on fire, bro. Like you used to watch that nigga, be like, bro, Roscoe Dash, Travis Porter, yeah. nigga. You like, nigga, who music did you? When you hear that triumphant, no, you're like, damn, man, K no. on the track. <laughs> like, hey, hey, you know what I know where it is? I don't know if the nigga was scamming, using his name, dog, but nigga inbox me and tell he was him, and like, tomorrow, bro, it's always niggas scamming, <laughs> bro. Listen, listen, <laughs> niggas try to get me out like a thousand. You become niggas. popular tomorrow, bro. A nigga is gonna make an Instagram account and start scamming niggas, bro. Yeah, for sure, being you and shit. Be like, bro, I'm signing the artists today. Man, I can't. Sit, can... <laughs> sit over your social security Yo. card. Hey, that's what I'm saying. They want your ass, though. They want your whole motherfucking shit, dog. Hey, hold on. That's why niggas. I, was, I get mad, though. I know you see this shit, bro. When artists be posting uh, that, oh, yeah, Buster Rounds hit me back. Like, right. <laughs> oh, that's work. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Joe just hit me, like. like fair. 
Like, that's why they hit you, bro. He just went alive, bro. Yeah, like, you talking dog. about, bro? That shit funny as hell. Now, my uh, my top three, bro, is Manny Fresh for sure. Cause that's the first time I really got to rap was off of uh, Hot Boys and, uh, and Cash Money and shit. And I fuck with what's name, dog? Juicy J. Listen. I listen. fuck with 36 Mafia heavy. Listen. 36 Mafia is the holy grail of a lot of these style music right now, bro. Mm -hmm. But you still wouldn't have that. Sign without Manny, Hell like yeah. Manny had that boom boom bap, and that boom boom bap literally jumps to everybody's song. Hell like yeah. nigga to this day, Detroit boom boom bap. This that's our beat still. Yeah, for sure. And then Manny Fresh did everything alone. Niggas be having help, like nigga. That's why I ain't like that. Shit, that, the only that other people they had going against them was what beat by the pound. Yeah. But but then and that was like a lot of niggas. I ain't like when that nigga had battled Scott Storrs because Scott Storrs had beats that he had help with Dr. Dre and this that and third like nigga. First star, main first beat. First star. Nigga. I ain't never been like every time when I hear a goddamn Scott Storrs beat, I be like, I ain't never been like, damn, who made this beat? Sometimes I be like, Scott Storrs, dog. That nigga. But like he cold, but like. Yeah, man, he cold like bro. No, no, like man, what? What club banger that Scott Storch got that bitch is twerking to? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> man, Fred got like, that shit to shake your ass, nigga, for real. Like, hey, my man got the song called Gator Boots with <laughs> the pimped out coochie. No, that one he had that beat, uh, that shine beat. He, but bro, my man came on the track and said, "Boom, boom, back." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bat, no. bat, boom. And then motherfucker dropped the beat. Nigga, With the same song. Killed that shit, dog. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, killed like, that shit, dog. Bro, that nigga was Timberland before Timberland. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, nigga, we, 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 we touched on this shit earlier, dog. But the first time I knew you made beats, bro, I didn't even know my nigga Cheesy had rap. So this the, this the shit. I'm on Facebook. And I, then I remember this nigga Cheesy because I knew Cheesy since I was fucking like 13. 13, 14. So uh, I knew him I, at about 16. I had a... Uh, my I had um, my mom and um my her boyfriend had broke up right. and and her his nephew was the ones who stay on bail for and shit so that's how I met all the niggas so nigga years later I'm about 21 20 I get a friend request from Cheese dog I'm like damn what up nigga what you been up to making music and shit so I'm listening to this nigga shit like yeah man I get I get beats from uh, my nigga Silly V and shit I'm like like who and then he told me like damn I know that nigga dog right, damn so, like, that's the first time I knew you made beats because you were fucking with Cheesy now you kind of like you touched on P O G Cheesy they all in the same hood like. How you how you how you uh get involved with them niggas and meet them niggas dog? Well, one day I was hanging out on Belfort over my my Cavalry childhood friend uh Aquarius. Yeah. Chilling over there and I ended up meeting uh Jarrell, Tierra and Sasha, like the kids that's over across the street. Yeah. They was like my grandfather got a studio in the backyard in his back porch. I'm yeah. like Bet I come over there and they making beats and stuff. Yeah, for sure. I meet Jason. Jason is uh, POG's brother. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, like nigga, they like you called at this. Yeah. Like let's try to embed it. So I'm like, I'm sitting here, I'm doing, I'm coming over there every day. Yeah. And then they was like, oh yeah, you really called at this. They sent me over to POG house yeah, up the yeah, street. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's almost like I was going through Mortal Kombat yeah, stages yeah. in this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like test your mic, like nigga. <laughs> like nigga, I do this no. shit, man. Like, yeah, no. but you got, but you got to understand, bro. Like, I, I was look, like when they showed me that, bro, cause I was making beats the hard way, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, nigga, yeah. I was cutting, and pacing, and moving shit like yeah. on computers, bro. And they would show me a keyboard, like nigga, I wouldn't be touching keyboards like that, yeah, bro. For sure, they yeah. had no two tracks, and yeah. so I was finally making beats, and this ain't no my mama, like. Damn, yeah. uh, <laughs> you sure yeah. you don't want to? Cause I, I ain't gonna lie, my mind was talking about going to goddamn being a nurse and some other shit. Yeah, bro. yeah some shit get some cert some for sure. Yeah, money bro, shit, yeah. Nigga, I, I got a MA, I'm medical assistant certified. Like, yeah, yeah, I got all that shit, but it's like nigga, music is where is that for me, bro? For sure, hell yeah. So it's like once I started noticing that all the older niggas is like, bro. Yeah, you fucking you 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 doing your shit? Cause you know what I'm saying? it really don't. I ain't gonna lie. When I was a kid, bro, young niggas 
your pants never mattered to me, bro. Yeah. It was like you always look at the old head, the old head to tell you the heartbeat, like nigga, you a fucking fall off. They all hate you. They all hate that you have it, bro. Like, <laughs> like, nigga, hey, you ever just sit down and just hear an old head talk, bro? Yeah. Like when one of their old friends come up and that nigga leaves, like nigga, that nigga used to be somebody. That nigga like, damn, like, <laughs> 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 no. like you know what I'm saying? I don't want, I don't want to be that, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. That nigga ain't gonna do that shit, though. Like, you see him? You see him? That nigga ain't shit, now. Like, that nigga just have all the cars. That nigga used to pull all the hoes. <laughs> now that nigga over here asking me for a dollar. Like, <laughs> damn, bro. Like, nigga, no. he just had a hard day, bro. <laughs> that nigga need a square or something, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, bro. That's true, though. Niggas, older, older niggas gonna keep it real with you, yeah, dog. Yeah, but younger niggas gonna be like, yeah, you know, nigga. I'll, I'll, hey, nigga, we hanging with you. Bum in, bum out. Nigga, what it is, bro? <laughs> yeah, dog. Like, nigga, a nigga, hey, young, young friends got them get rich on you bro and just be looking at you like yeah yeah for sure that's a fact, that's a fact and then clown you too yeah hey oh they ain't gonna call you straight to you though yeah. <laughs> they gonna be like, no, nigga, hey, you know crazy. i just hang with him because they know what I'm saying? i've been hanging with him for a little minute so you know it's my friend my childhood friend so i just still hang with the nigga and yeah, shit yeah, <laughs> like yeah. damn nigga like you just still <laughs> hang with me and shit like all right. so, so, so you say pog and them niggas kind of like told you like how to do that shit easier way then huh hell yeah and then like i ended up going to college bro yeah. i went to mcnay smith college of music in st paul minnesota yeah. and they showed me so much other shit so you came back nigga super super hard yeah but i came back disappointed go like damn i actually even went to school i was like because <laughs> 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 yeah. took that money bought the shit that i needed yeah, for sure <laughs> yeah, yeah, took man. that long money bought the shit that i definitely needed Duh, that's but now we're gonna start it all over again Hell so yeah, look dog. so check this out how everything got started for me with the studio shit though. Sure. I did, cause I came back home with nothing but a laptop. Yeah. Came home, 2008. Yeah. House caught on fire, New Year's Eve. Damn. Bring the New Year's Eve for the House got insurance. Yeah, oh shit, good. <laughs> shit, dog. Bro, listen, listen, listen. Like, it was almost like God was like, uh, all right, what day do we know that none of them be in the house? Oh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> 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 the, the wires of the goddamn wall touched. I mean, it flash banged the whole house, bro. Damn. Like, nigga, damn. Hey, like there was no TV, no bed, no nothing. My mama been fried. Like if she was in there, she wouldn't have been there. Damn, that shit crazy. So, like, like I said, God was like, uh, what yeah. day? Oh, that's the perfect day. <laughs> he at the club. She over there at my hey, at her son's house. Okay. They, yeah. I'm, hey, I'm at the club. They like, hey, yo, bro, your house on fire. <laughs> I'm drunk as shit. <laughs> like, you said, my who? Duh. Bro, this how I know I'm drunk. My homeboy, like, let's go. I get on the back of the motorcycle, his girl's motorcycle with her. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you drunk as hell on the motorcycle? <laughs> she's driving the motorcycle. Oh, I'm on the back of the motorcycle deal, with her. I was like, look, look deal, halfway down the ride, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something ain't right, but but I'm gonna get there, bro. The house is for sure is on fucking fire. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm just sitting here looking with the stupidest face. Now listen, <laughs> we got insurance, but yeah. that's what makes the goddamn everything works out for me. Yeah. Somebody stupid ass went inside the house when the house caught on fire and stole all the shit out of the basement, all my studio equipment and stuff out the basement. Yeah, damn, they told you already knew. Yeah, so you went now to where go. nobody know what the fuck was in my basement. Yeah, <laughs> man, bro, man, all type of shit. <laughs> like I had all type of shit, and I got pictures of my homeboy studio stuff being in my basement. So, yeah. nigga, I, bro, I ended up buying all my studio stuff. Yeah, it was on from there because that's ain't know it, nigga. I'm over at POG house now. I know how to record. Now I'm over here like, oh, let's yeah. go. For sure, hell yeah. They say, you know it, nigga. I get that. Yeah, we uh, we want you to come work with us over here. I don't know. I'm with the Derillis. Yeah. I'm with DRS. Yeah, for sure. And those are niggas that really put me to push into the yeah. streets. Hell yeah. But yeah. POG and them, they flourished me because, like, I probably would have did it if it wasn't for POG and all of them telling me, yeah, bro, you you got this. Yeah, shout out to shout out nigga POG, man. Hell yeah, the giant, you already know. Yeah, yeah, because like I said, man, that nigga Cheesy was talking about you. I think I'm like, damn, Cheesy, that nigga, I, that nigga, he said, fuck rap, like. Craziest part is, bro, it's crazy how the world aligned. The people that my people that's doing helping me with my music shit now yeah. is people's with POG now. Oh, so shit. It's been people with POG yeah. when they grew up. Like, yeah, 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 Dementio. Yeah. I'm like, 
Demencio like, bro, yeah. it's something different. I was like, yeah, I learned this from P.O.G. He's like, P.O., your uncle? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's I, I remember when I was in the studio, nigga, you like, nigga, you at P.O.G. crib? My nigga, how the fuck you know, nigga? <laughs> hey. I be knowing all my family members' houses. That's my yeah, family. I, 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 you, you could be in a little corner. I'd be like, oh, yo, bro, at this house. Yeah. Like, no. like, look, look, she got that little plant with the little red bird on the side. <laughs> <Next time. laughs> all right, let me ask you this, dog. This, I be wanting to know this shit, dog. I be wanting to know shit like a motherfucker from, from niggas who always talking shit. Now, before you cut right into me when I say this shit, like, give me your time to explain. What's wrong with YouTube type beats? Now, hold on. See, I told you, that's how I know you about to cut to me. Now I know you, you a nigga make beats, so you want, you want, you want to sell your shit, you want to make money. But what if I'm a nigga? I feel like, all right, I'm, 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 I'm nice with the flow, I'm nice with the rap, but I can't afford to get a beat from somebody. So I want to get this, just YouTube beat, see what I could do on it, and see if I can make some noise with it. What you say to that? First off, we don't do no YouTube beats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't know? Silly V on the beat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Listen, 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 there's the problem, it's, if you just doing music for fun, mm -hmm. then yes, no problem, use a free YouTube beat, but yeah. if you try to take this serious, yeah. nigga, you don't want that, because that song blow up, guess who gets the goddamn benefits, yeah. that person, Everybody, yeah. no, not that person, the producer, yeah, that's all. Yeah, so that yeah. producer gonna rape you when you try to come get that beat, Yeah. Now, but if you buy the beat up straight, yeah. or get a lease, yeah. that producer got... You know what I'm saying? He can't do too much to you. Yeah. He has to go by his guidelines. Okay. Now, what if it's a free, free beat? They don't mean shit. I'm going to put it like this, bro. Ain't no such thing as a free beat. <laughs> yeah. That is a trap. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> like, do not fall into that trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I that's just a question. I know you know better than me. I just be want to know, like, because a nigga be like, dog, like, don't do it. Don't do it. Like, nigga, get your own right, shit. Because basically, nigga, I put out a free beat, bro. Nigga, once your song come out, nigga, I claim your song. Now I got a goddamn song. Yeah, that and a up. beat. And then another <laughs> nigga make a song. I got two songs <laughs> and the beat. <laughs> no, that shit funny as hell. No, I just want to know because I be seeing a lot of niggas who be just, they be mad. They frown upon that shit. Like, nigga, no, no. no my thing is, bro, listen. Niggas can go to a video nigga and pay yeah. that nigga four hundred, five hundred dollars, bro. Yeah. Or go to the goddamn engineer, pay him sixty hours, the sixty dollars an hour. Yeah. Eighty dollars an hour. Gets to the nigga who got the mixture fucking sound and be like, bro, hey, can you give me a loan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, damn, like, bro. Then the thing is, bro, niggas don't do paperwork right. Yeah, hell yeah. That nigga, that nigga, about that shit. Yeah, niggas will drop a song on Distro Kid and put you in the goddamn team. You up here, goddamn, seeing the song blow up. And that's thing you know, you like, damn, where my uh my referral code at? Where my referral code? You know, you call the nigga, the nigga ain't asking the phone no more. <laughs> oh, the nigga is super mega star now. Like, <laughs> damn, bro. Damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know you turn into super mega star when that nigga start rocking them, them, them one jeans. <laughs> <laughs> dog, 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 man, dog, that shit funny as hell. Now, nigga, when you uh, when you uh, doing your beats, dog, you you talking about like you know saying money and paying shit. Do you uh, if a nigga come like man, I got a budget. This one I'm working with. Do you work with a nigga or you be like nigga like or do is it different levels like bro, I got king this nigga. of that shit, bro. Like bro, come to me with your budget, bro. Like yeah. tell me how you like tell me what you got, bro. Tell me what's going on, bro. You can't tell me what's going on. I can't help you, bro. Yeah. But what the one thing is, bro. But niggas got too you know niggas, niggas from DC. You got too much pride to say that shit. That's the thing, nigga. You got pride to got them tell me, nigga. I got pride to help you out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's a fact. Like, nigga, you can't got them. You know what I'm saying what is closed mouth? Yeah, yeah. You know don't get fed. Yeah. Hell yeah. But yeah, nigga, all right. So yeah, you, you niggas getting YouTube beats, dog. If y'all just doing it just to make y'all motherfucking streets, uh, make some little noise on the block, yeah. do it. Because the thing I don't think I don't get. If you for real with it, go ahead and get a beat for my dog. You have a nigga come into your studio with a free beat off YouTube, bro. It'd be like five of them on a the song, bro. You telling me that five of y'all couldn't come with $25 a piece? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, for sure, dog. Like that's the type of shit I be trying to figure out. Like nigga, yeah. I can understand if you were just one nigga, bro. Yeah. But you like y'all coming this bitch? Like nigga, we got their little poop poop and got them shoddy, nigga. <laughs> and we try to got them drop an album, bro. <laughs> how much is Mystic Mastering? You be like one twenty five. It was like nigga, how much is this mixing? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Fast, dog. Damn, nigga, 
nigga stupid, dog. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, check that shit quick as hell, bro. <laughs> dog. So, nigga, like, I know, I know it gotta be a headache with you, bro, when you fucking with niggas and on these beats and shit, dog. Like, bro, cause it, I, ain't, it ain't a thing I ain't not ran into yet, bro. You be like, what, bro? <laughs> like, bro, can I, like, pay you next week? Because my daughter's birthday is, like, I'm like, bro, your daughter's birthday, bro. Like, Come on, bro. Man, like you had it, you had ability to come to the studio, but you, <laughs> uh, dog, nigga, come up with hella excuses, like, dog. bro. But your daughter's birthday more important. But you came to the studio anyway, though, like yeah, dog. Nigga, like, you should ain't been this bitch, nigga. You come this be way. this way, like bro, dog. Bro, I got a nigga that got thing told me one time, bro. Like nigga, I I was shy with you, bro, but you cost too much, bro. I said. Oh, Bill, I don't even want to work with you because it's like, damn, nigga, I ain't even never give you a price. <laughs> like, <laughs> I ain't even know I cost too much. Like, <laughs> duh, nigga, I'm you done put a price on me. Like, nigga, yeah. I might be generous today. Like, nigga, I got to sell them goddamn $50 beats or something. Bro. Man, now, uh, you know what I'm saying? You got a couple of people you didn't work with that's, that's, that's pretty known and stuff. You didn't work with. For, I think the first person I knew that, you, you know what I'm saying, after Cheesy and shit, you had did something with Calico. Shout out Calico yeah. and shit. You did a song with uh, Sada. Uh, you did uh, you did a couple of tracks with Sada. You did yeah, MGM uh, Fat Boy. Yeah, yeah and then yeah, you did yeah. uh, you 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 work with what's name Heavy too. Uh, Rocky Bad, Rocky Bad. I'm seeing your messages, girl. I was yeah, trying to get yeah. you on the show. Come on through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so hey, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I I enjoy working with Rocky Bad most right now though. For sure. Because like she like I, before i was sending all the crazy beats to sada baby yeah and then that connection dried and then you know what i'm saying i ended up working with rocky and i'm able to send her crazy beats and she able to she really can rap yeah. like i love that you know what i'm saying i love sending music to artists that really can got a creative side to their sure. yeah. so she started rapping and shit and that's you know them bitches start really really catching i'm like damn yeah. like, and this ain't no, I started getting like a lot of her followers start following me. I'm like, so what? You just had just you just before you knew it, you just was just you just threw some beats or something. I was just I was just sending out packs. One day I seen her at a, uh, a open mic, bro. Yeah. It was like, sure, I've been trying to work with you for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I've been getting blocked by you know what I'm saying old managers and shit. But you know what I'm saying? I finally yeah. got the direct you know what I'm saying connection. Yeah, for sure. You like how I did that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how y'all got that shit popping? Yeah. And then, it was like, so now y'all, because I, like I said, I see y'all be fucking around on a lot of songs and shit. So now y'all kind of like, you you kind of like, would you call yourself like kind of her go to producer and shit for me? One of her go to producers for sure. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The whole, the real songs really like got. Yeah, like DJ Brown. Yeah. And then you got my boy over there, uh, Doc Bass over there doing all her engineering. So it's like almost, almost like I'm still there without being there. Yeah, for like, sure. I can Hell feel yeah. comfortable sending her music yeah. and knowing that it's going to get mixed in the right way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, everything going to be everything gonna yeah. be straight and shit. Like, shoot. I, other than working with her, because, you know, I got the Mozzie, that Mozzie song, song yeah. from her. Okay. Uh, and then Boosie and... Uh, Pac-Man came from MGM Fatboy. Yeah. Like, I enjoyed that because, like, the time he made that song, he was in, I want to say he was in L.A., bro, and I was in Oakland, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is, like, coincidental. Like, I don't even go out like that. It's flying. I was in Oakland. I was like, bro, come to the studio. I'm sitting in there. I'm, nigga, I'm working, working, though. Like, yeah. nigga, like, nigga, I'm here for a reason. I'm in Oakland for a reason. Like, nigga. Yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> like, so, nigga, send me a video, and I see the goddamn Boosie and that bitch dancing Hell on yeah. the song. I'm like, damn, like, <laughs> shit. Like, do I want to take this little six hour drive? Out there? No. <laughs> like, like, you well, did you it know, though. Hell no, I ain't going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker got that money on the floor. Uh, uh, flights. <laughs> no, I think it's a hell no. Flights. No. Now, it's funny you brought that You brought that song up, dog. Shake that. MGM Fat Boy uh, featuring. Uh, <laughs> that song got us in trouble. Boosie and shit. Now, I want to tell you, I want to say this. I don't know if you heard it. Uh, dude named Kid Ill, right? Uh huh. You heard him? He got a review, a review show. We talked a little, uh, the little, uh, well, wait. Arabic, dude. Be page. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, what happened was, you know, I guess my man sent the, sent the song over and shit for a review. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? And he just, he just trashed the shit. Like, he was just talking all Bro, type of shit. My man's be liking songs when white boys be singing anything on this, <laughs> bro. Like, it, but the songs he like lets me know his credibility is just not there for me. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, y'all let niggas just tell y'all anything. Y'all be hurt. 
<laughs> I'll be laughing like y'all be hurt. No, I think it be hurt. <laughs> like like y'all be hurt. I said y'all gonna let him tell y'all that y'all music ain't good. He's one person. Nigga, nigga, for sure. One nigga, dog. One nigga. Yeah, he don't even listen to y'all type music anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Like, as soon as you say I'm gonna kill such and such, he's done with you. Yeah, yeah, cause niggas be niggas be niggas, niggas be butt hurt like a motherfucker. Yeah, oh, bro, that that's my thing is, bro. You think he's not gonna shit on you, bro? That's how you get your views, bro. He yeah. getting his views from shitting on you, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. And like I said, the song it was a party song, nice song and shit, dog. The thing he, is, he went bro. in on it though. I might dog, bro. There's a way to critique shit, and then there's a way not to critique shit, bro. Yeah. And the way he go about shit, you know what I'm saying? I can't lie, nigga. I, how he, would you? How would you? How would you critique a fucked up song, nigga? Without, without, nigga, getting yourself killed. I mean, <laughs> nigga, hey, it's like, 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 I mean, I'm being honest. Like, you could tell the motherfucker to Harvey, like, bro, the song dope. Yeah. But like, you should like. Get some mixing done a little better, you know what I'm saying? Or you know what I'm saying? Cause you give the actual information of what's going on, why yeah. what you didn't like about it. Yeah. A person can't even get mad at you. Yeah, for sure. But like maybe you should have came harder here, or maybe you should have did this, or this the rotation of the song should have started with this person. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's what I like about working at New Music Sundays when I okay. be up there with the DJs. It's yeah. it's different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. get to tell people yeah, what they need to do. Like to be what's better. going on for yeah. real. You're not sitting there just shitting on a nigga, like yeah. bro, that shit is <laughs> Like, yeah. damn. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, I just paid you the shit on me, bro. <laughs> Hard, nigga, too. Like, <laughs> bro, that what shit type crazy. of poor hoe shit is this? <laughs> <laughs> Duh. But that's a, and that's another thing, bro. Like, I don't know, dog. I'm, maybe I'm a cheap motherfucker, dog. But I don't think I'm gonna pay nobody to review my shit, dog. Like, bro, I'm not that pressed in life, bro. <laughs> like, I'm just not that pressed in life, bro. I read this. I pay for promotion. Yeah, 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 for sure. But facts. like, nigga, for you to just be like blatantly like, we got a new song up here today. <laughs> uh, I already don't even like the video. Like, <laughs> damn, what? <laughs> <laughs> like my shit even came on, nigga. Like, like that motherfucker said the producer's name. You was <laughs> like, no, nope, I don't even like that producer. Turn dog, it off, <laughs> man. Dog, that shit, man, that shit fucked up, dog. But yeah, I, I'm just not doing that, nigga. Like, I'm not, I'm not about to pay, nigga. Pay you to review some shit, bro. That's money. Like, I could, I could, I could spend that shit on a beat, nigga. Whatever. I could have paid, used that to promote that song, yeah. and got them fucked your review and went past your review. Yeah, for sure. The same people that were about to re hey, watch your shit. When I paid for that promotion. I probably would have targeted a was targeted a whole little system that yeah. quick. Hell yeah! But, but my, the thing is, niggas don't know how to work algorithms, bro. Yeah, hell yeah! I'm just uh, me fucking with this thing. I'm just learning like that shit, dog. As far as like even with the podcast, with just d making sure your shit appear on shit. Like, put me on some game. It's a free game, I mean, real quick. Bro, really, when you drop your stuff, bro, you know it's they drop it down. When you first drop it, it's gonna show to your to like ten percent of your people. Yeah, yeah. The, probably the thing is, you gotta get those ten people to react. Yeah. To that post. So yeah, you can send more. it out to the other people. Yeah, 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 for sure. To get them to comment. To so yeah. make them send it out and put it on the bigger platform. Yeah. You're really sitting there dropping more interesting, more interesting. The more interesting comment, like, like content that you put up. Yeah. The more they, like, kind of pay attention to your page and be like, all right, we're going to try to drop into the Explorer page. At least some of this stuff. Because, like, I got stuff that I just repost from somebody else's page one time. Yeah. And, nigga, they just went Stupid in so the you comments. Should you should repost that nigga shit. Yeah, and okay. it just went stupid in the comments, bro. And yeah. they say, you know what? I'm like, seeing my shit over here and people reposting it from my page, like from my name. And it's from his page, but it's yeah. my name on yeah, his page. Yeah, yeah, for like, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. So basically, it's just, it's just all about engagements and shit like yeah. that, dog. Because that's when they change it now. Because you see, it's some shit that you might not see for... until four days later. Just because that's how you got that shit fixed. People make the mistake is they do stuff and just let people engage with them. You have to engage back. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you so, literally have to so talk to these people. So that's about, like, that's even going on another nigga page and start talking on, on their shit. Man, there's some people that got automated responses. Yeah, hell yeah. As soon as you say something to him, he didn't even talk to you. This got the automated <laughs> robot. It's like, yeah, bro, you good. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah, for sure. <laughs> 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 no, you got to be on that shit, dog. Like, man, like, bro, they got... They got whole like email list that goes sends out something out every day and yeah. it's already set to be sent to you. So yeah. the dude not even sitting at his computer, he walking around doing grocery shit. <laughs> out here taking out his groceries <laughs> and he out here sent you about six emails already. Yeah. For sure, hell yeah. Yeah, it's, it's ways around all that shit though. I be I was always wondering about that shit till like I said, talking to this nigga and then just hearing shit. Cause I remember I was listening to uh my man. I guess he from Instagram on Breakfast Club. They kept asking him questions like, why the fuck 
Boosie keep getting his shit took it down, but you got Kim Kardashian this bitch posting ads and her shit straight. Hey, check this out. Kim Kardashian don't interact with people. Yeah. They just watch her page. Yeah, Boosie sure. interacts with people. Boosie will go out there respond to a comment he don't like in a heartbeat. Bro. Hell yeah, <laughs> for sure. Hell yeah. And if he really like a comment, he's definitely gonna respond to it. Like he's on his shit. He's active. Like yeah. he's probably one of the only big active stars yeah. on Instagram yeah, that sure. was on Instagram. He was active. Yeah, hell yeah. But you got other niggas that just be active on Twitter and hell yeah. And they just got somebody else doing their Instagram. Yeah, for so, sure. So you know what I'm saying? Now, dog, the different levels of being a producer, bro. It's just, it's, it's, it's put me, give me hip. You, I, I, I always thought producer just make beats. That's what he do. He made beats. He made beats. He made beats. Not until like the Diddy's, you start seeing like Diddy's might, he might not make a beat, but he might be like, all right, add this, and that's mm -hmm. it. So you get producer credit. Or uh, somebody like DJ Khaled who don't do nothing but he structured and put songs together. Like, do you look at that as a complete producer who can do everything, or like a half-ass producer? How you look? How you look at this? Yeah. You got your beat makers who make beats. Yeah. And that's what they enjoy doing, making beats. Yeah. But then you got niggas who like to produce, yeah. which is like, I like to sit with my artists and produce a song from the ground up. Yeah. I might have hands in helping you write the lyrics. Yeah. I might have hands in, I made the melody, da 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 da. da. And I oversee it out and help the engineer out over the engineer's shoulder telling the engineer that this need to be done. Yeah, I'm for producing sure. the track with you. Yeah. Which makes me a producer. Yeah, you get yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas who just sits back and just like, I want this person, this person, this person, like Khaled. Yeah. I want this person, this person, this person, this person on the song and make it happen. Yeah. Executive. That's yeah, executive sure. producer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I, so you know what I'm saying There's so many categories to it Like I got beat maker in my name I got producer in my name yeah. I got an executive producer shit before And yeah. I ain't, I'm an engineer You For know sure. what I'm saying Hell yeah Hell yeah Cause I always wonder why that shit Cause I never like, Diddy was a perfect example as, as Like I said back in the day He wasn't making the beats But he knew what yeah, should be he, in the beat? He, he How the, the beat should go? He was the producer. You know what I'm saying? Mostly he was the executive producer of everything. Yeah, for sure. He was the nigga that made shit run. He okay, that shit's gonna pop. Yeah. I don't like. Oh no, no, no. He makes the executive decision. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, this motherfucker yeah, yeah. right here is not yeah. supposed to be on the song. Take him off. That shit got verse weak as hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now what's what's easier, dog? Is it easier to build? If I'm your artist, you we we in the studio together. We build them from the ground up. I give you a hook. You make the beat around that. Or just to just give a nigga a beat. What do you like? What do you enjoy better? Just giving niggas beats. If you or... don't like the nigga the way he rap, give him a beat. But <laughs> nigga, uh, <laughs> I'm just being honest. If you don't like the way the nigga rap, give the nigga just give the nigga the beat. But yeah. nigga, if you really fuck with the artist, nigga, tell that nigga to come to the studio. Yeah. Nigga, you could goddamn be listening to some um, some YouTube beats and then yeah. motherfucker and rap some shit off the YouTube beat and you just take the goddamn beat out and make a whole fucking rap beat around that motherfucker. Yeah. See, there's there's like for, like I said, there's a lot of beat makers who goddamn have special, you know what I'm saying, techniques. Yeah. Like I can you can make a song on a YouTube beat, send me the actual Pro Tools file and I take it and make it a cappella and make yeah. a beat around your vocals. Yeah. And you would have a whole new beat to the song. Oh shit, you did. Hell yeah. See, I said we fuck with you back in my old days. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit. A majority a majority of them Rocky songs that you hear is songs that I remade. Yeah. From other like from old beats. Okay. Like she be like, I want this. I'm like, all right. And she be like, but I ain't couldn't buy the beat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And somebody, da da da. I need you to make something similar and yeah. close to it. All right, bet. Take the acapella, drop it. Yeah. Okay, I, that's what I hear. Yeah. Probably used to be when you got them hear the song and you be like, damn, I heard the beat so many times. I damn, they want to make the beat over again. Because <laughs> <Like, laughs> I, I, I know that's how the song sounded. Yeah. Like, no. So, but after a while, I'm able to start making my own sound. Like. My probably hardest task was Wando's intro, bro. Yeah. Dogface had the nigga Wando in the goddamn studio, and he was doing the T Grizzly beating on his chest rapping. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm sitting there, I um, made the whole beat, and everybody in that bitch in off, but I'm in this bitch like sweating and shit. God damn, <laughs> like, this shit gonna be over, cause I swear I. Is this right? Like, yeah. is, like, <laughs> like is this right, bro? Man, so you, studio shit, dog. I always ask rappers this shit. What's some shit that you need for a good session for you? Weed. 
Yeah, besides that. I do besides that. <laughs> yeah, besides that. You need some drinks, some bitches, some More some, weed. Some, some food. <laughs> 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 they say weed on deck, dog. Hey, yeah, you need weed, you need a Pepsi. Yeah. Uh, lunch booth. Uh, <laughs> Sign some hot yeah. shit right there. <laughs> Duh. Okay. Cause shit get real. Man. Now you say no, you... but uh, like angle, like you, when it comes to like having people at the studio, like you want to keep some good ass motherfucking nice smell goods around that bitch. Yeah. Cause you know niggas do start goddamn being at the studio is the hottest place in the world, bro. It don't matter. It don't matter if you got an air conditioner in that bitch. That bitch gonna get hot some type of way, bro. <laughs> So like nigga, make sure you if you do work in the studio or come to a studio, make sure you clean. Yeah. Like yeah, but, sure. but you know what I'm saying? Some people gotta drink. I don't I'm not a drinker. I yeah. I started drinking at like early twenties. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I can't smoke though, I'll get paranoid. I'll be I'll be fucking all everything up, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Be, I can think it. Every time I try it, though, I, it's, it's always I that same feeling. I think what a paranoid shad look like. Man, nigga, it's, 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 it's bad, nigga. Like, bro, like, I be in this mug. I'm shaggy so, as I get shit. So, I, get, <laughs> dog, I get so zoned out, dog, when I'm, when I'm like that, bro. I, like I said, like, two weeks ago, my wife wanted to hit the blunt for the first time. So she hit that. You know I got hit it. So I hit that bitch, but my problem is, like, Mount tell me, nigga, I, I, be, I be pulling too hard. And I'm not, I'm not a nigga who smoke. So nigga, as soon as I do that shit, I just automatically feel goofy. Like now I'm calling, I'm talking to my auntie, and I feel like the conversation is just too fucking long. How would nigga judge yourself in the middle of smoking? Like, <laughs> hey, that's real paranoia, bro. Duh. That's real paranoia. My nigga, nigga. said, "Hold on, bro. I think I pulled that bitch too hard. Duh. I'm goofy as hell. <laughs> like, Duh, like, I'm, I'm judging. Says no smoker ever. Like, nigga, I'm judging the conversation. Like I'm like I'm on this bitch too long, but I don't know. How I say bye. I don't know how in this bitch like nigga. That's how it's bad, dog. Hey, bro. Hey, I guess I'm terrible because I'd be on the phone and be like, nigga. Duh. I be that bitch. Quiet in the bitch. Mother's like, are you still there? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm still here, fam. Nigga, I got the, I got the phone. <laughs> I'm not even going to talk nigga, to you. Like, I, why'd you call me in the first place? Duh, I got the phone thinking about the conversation about how dumb this shit was. Like, damn, this was a stupid ass conversation. R rule number one always text me. Oh, man. Man. And then I still feel goofy. I feel like I'm, I'm not texting right. So I just don't smoke, fam, nigga. Fam. Th that's why I like to text. Because <laughs> I can text you at my nearest convenience. <laughs> no, that shit funny. I'd be man. like, yeah, I'm too fucked up to text right now. So I didn't see. Man. And I'll text you later. <laughs> now tell me this, dog. Have it, have it been a time? I know it, it had to be a time that you and gave a nigga a beat. And, and, and then you like, damn, I should never get a nigga to beat like that. Shit, that beat was too cold for you to do that destruction on that motherfucking shit. Like you just fuck my beat all up with these fifth cra crazy ass fifth. liquors, dude. I don't have to pee the fifth. <laughs> Cause uh, <laughs> fifth, what that shit? Like? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, well we got her, okay, we know what's up there. Now, on the flip side, can you can you resell a beat if a nigga don't put something out quick enough? Hey, fam, like. Like, like, cause I know, like, like, like who like, do that shit? What's ain't do it? I ain't heard his beat. Um, what was that beat, dog? That nigga, Nuck if you book that crown my beat. Listen, came back around and, and somebody else used the shit. Like, can that shit happen? I mean, obviously we just see we be seeing people doing it. Like, <laughs> yeah, like old girl, old girl did a uh, Gucci Man song over again. Yeah. Uh, I'm like that very freaky girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like now you can do I'm, that shit. I'm like so yeah. So it's, 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 I guess it's a thing now. Like, yeah. You could be like, yeah, I'm just gonna take the original beat. You be like, I'm gonna say the same thing he said. Duh, for real. <laughs> and he get famous too. Duh, for real. Duh, cause like, what's ain't do that shit? I think I heard on an interview. Um, who's my man from Al? Duh, the nigga from Atlanta, but he always be in Detroit. He made beats. Uh, he be with Al New. He used to be with Al New down there in Atlanta, dog. Damn, I can't think of that nigga name. But he said, like, you got a certain amount of time with this beat. And if you don't do nothing, he resell it. Yeah, I mean, Zay no, Tov hey, no. Zaytoven. Zaytoven definitely do that. Yeah. I might say, I read in the book, my man was sending you literally down there in the same package. <laughs> yeah, dog. Like, my man, she better get it together. Uh, yeah, he better uh, do some shit with this shit. Because if you, you got six months, nigga. All right, nigga. Oh, this bitch going to the next nigga. For real. You got to think about it. You, when you first heard Versace, bro. Versace was on a young Jeezy. Soldier Boy, <laughs> all everybody was rapping on Versace beat, bro. Yeah. But then that thing, you know it, bro. Migos came out Versace, 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 yeah, Versace. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, nigga, we was got them. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna be like that, nigga. Yeah. I mean, what the, what other song? What uh, 
Like I said, Juju that, on the beat. Yeah, that shit was recycled. Like a lot of these songs be recycled, bro. Yeah. You just gotta, you know you what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You just, it's music now. Shit. Yeah. Now we was talking about uh, earlier, we was talking about validation, bro. Like how like niggas will see you got a side of a nigga, a side baby getting your beat. Oh yeah, you doing you doing your thing, or I guess somebody on the show. Oh, you doing your thing. Do do that. Do you do that matter to you like the name on that motherfucking beat or just that you putting out work? Bro, listen, I've been doing music for a long time, and every time I get a big name on there, I get validated. Yeah. Like it's like, damn, that's my first time being validated. It, it feels like that every time <laughs> yeah, I get a big name sure. on that motherfucker. But like, <laughs> damn, like you do a big thing. It's like, damn, did you just say that like two months ago yeah. when I had bro on the song? Yeah. Like when Big Wolf's song got on the radio, when that, the, what did they put inside of that dog food? Yeah, nigga. Everybody was like, nigga, you got a song on the radio? Yeah. <laughs> like, bro. Hey, nigga, I was fucked up because I was trying to figure out how the beat even got to the DJ. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. remember sending this. No. Like, Man. I was like, bro, I said one of them days I'm just high as hell. And I'm just sending beats out to people in my email. And so I don't know how I got DJ BJ. So got their email. I yeah. didn't put that bitch on a new music. Uh, that, um, new music Mondays. That, uh, what was that? Friday? The, uh, freestyle Friday? Oh, Freestyle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That nigga's. What do they put inside of that dog food? Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's one. Duh, hell yeah. Man, but yeah, yeah, but yeah that validation is a motherfucker, dog. You I be mean, wanting that shit. But I like. The validation like, I want, yeah. niggas don't give me, though. Oh, shit, for real? You know, that validation that niggas be on a bigger platform be yeah. like, yeah, such, 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 such did. No, 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 no. They, they, they say it to Instagram, say it to Twitter. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, you want uh, that motherfucker? Like, that's, that's like yeah. that. That's like when you got that motherfucking girlfriend shit. She don't want to really put you out there for real shit. You were like, damn. She like, love you in the bedroom, that, nigga, but in public, nigga, y'all dapping up like. They get, hey, <laughs> they give a shout out to the cousin that never even got them be around. They be like, shout out <laughs> my cousin Melvin. That nigga got them believe to be like, damn, nigga, I, I gave you the beef for twenty five dollars. Like, <laughs> no, no. You remember you told me you got them to have it? I gave you the beef for twenty five. The song blew up And nigga You was like Yeah Thank you to my goddamn auntie Shirley She made that goddamn greens The best last Thanksgiving <laughs> Like no. Damn No This nigga funny dog. So uh What side of the first Big names getting your shit What's the Well From the city No Uh Maserati money bro Okay Now, now when you got that, that Cause you been doing this shit When you finally Cause like when I finally got A big interview on this bitch I'm hype as hell Like Nigga, you was in the, you was in the crib, nigga, going crazy, nigga, hype as hell, crying. What, what you doing? <laughs> what, you, <laughs> what you doing? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what he did. <laughs> bro, nigga, I ain't even gonna like, I went to the studio. It's like, bro, so how we do some more of this type yeah, shit, yeah, bro? Sure, like, man. how do we do some more of this type shit? But niggas that never had, that, I mean, saying like, I ain't gonna lie, niggas, a lot of niggas had their own little agendas going on. Yeah. So I ended up like jumping around with the artists. Like, I ended up start working with Rez on Tay, and then Rez on Tay's little situation happened, yeah. and that tape never dropped. Yeah. And then you know, what I'm saying after Rez on Tay, that's when I met. Sada Baby Okay And Sada I met Sada Baby At XFMS Studios Off of 8 Mile mm. And that's where Big 4P And uh Lil E And all them yeah. Was that And I They was about to do a session And Sada Baby Was rapping And Sada Baby Was rapping like Hot as shit Like yeah. his fo- His focus was like Peaking like Stupid like, Yeah I'm like hold on Let me get over there And I started working on it Yeah And he's like damn You know how to record I'm like yeah Yeah and I ended up finding out, you know what I'm saying? That nigga was cool. My like my cousin's friends like found Jose the plug and all them. Yeah. Like my cousin Mar- uh Marcel is what we call weirdo. Yeah. He uh he friends with Fire Jose the Plug, John Boy yeah. and all them niggas. And that's how I ended up meeting all them red zone niggas over at the Hillman side you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Like I ain't gonna lie, I could I contribute if it was for my family and my family connects, bro. I probably wouldn't know a lot of these niggas out here. Yeah, bro. yeah, for sure. But that be the most important thing is connections, bro. Yeah. Who the fuck you know? And sometimes it's gonna it take another nigga. I'm, shit, just like what last week, I, I'm, a nigga I supposed to have uh, the nigga who played Biggie on the show and shit. He sp- he did the spin the room on me, but yeah, Biggie said to spin the room. He, you know, he spent me to nah, death. He nigga. that big doing the spin the room. <laughs> Cause this nigga uh was out of town, so we couldn't come over here. So I'm like, dog, I need a spot. And his connections. Led me to another spot that I had, but shit, nigga spent me. Cause he's like, man, he had me hyped, nigga. I felt validated, nigga. Uh, I'm like, nigga, he hit me back. I I didn't have no Jay Z tie. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah, right? 
like, that nigga's like, nigga, I'm a Bosky out. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga's like, yeah, man, I'll be there Friday for the premiere for my movie. Nigga, three or five, I'm free. Nigga, I hit this nigga like, dog, I got nigga who play big in this bitch, nigga. He like, for real, word? Nigga, I got, I got it. Nigga, tell nigga, yeah. Tell that nigga, yeah. Nigga, never got nothing bad. Like, damn. Fuck you, bitch. Oh. <laughs> listen, listen. Rest in peace to the real big. <laughs> so, so Beasley shooting a movie. Yeah. Here, yep, right? Yep, yep, yep. That's and the movie he was in. He, uh, he over at uh, the projects on Northeastern Journal Two Palms. Yeah. At uh, Fabway SSE over there. Okay, okay, yeah. So, uh, I'm, I'm over here. I came to the house. My homeboy, they out shooting a scene. He told yeah. me to pull it up. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll pull it up. Everybody, them gone. The niggas I know are gone. It's nothing but movie people inside the house now. Mm -hmm. I get in the house and I'm stuck. Like, who the fuck is all these people? Yeah, 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 for sure, man. Dog. That quick though, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, uh, bro, that thing, you know, I see Fat Boy SSC on like, bro, in the projects. Yeah, this shit? like, man, I say y'all brought the niggas to the projects. And shit, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Chilling. But you know what I'm saying? It's like after a while, you know what I'm saying? He's, we be able to actually feel like a normal ass nigga just be around and niggas just look at you. Yeah. You start noticing like, bro. Yeah. The game ain't really. Sometimes nigga, we put mo so much goddamn uh, like emphasis on goddamn celebrities, bro. Yeah, It'd sure, be yeah. so crazy, bro. Like I, I ain't got to so many been around so many celebrities, bro. I, that starstruck shit done died yeah. somewhere, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. Like the sure. last time I was starstruck, I met Pink Floyd. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. But you ever had a nigga disappoint you, nigga, because you was a fan of that nigga? Bro, that's the reason why I'm not starstruck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, the nigga disappoint the fuck out you. Like, damn, I thought you were way better than this, though. <laughs> like, you a bitch ass nigga. Like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I get disappointed at a lot of old rappers, bro. <laughs> yeah. For one reason. How are you getting mad at young rappers when you got all the goddamn time to goddamn put out music, bro? Yeah, we yeah, got yeah. streaming pro yeah, we got streaming now, bro. You can go and drop a song. It's not like you don't have a fan base. Yeah, you yeah. have the stupidest fan base because they <laughs> listening to the same song they've been listening to yeah, since whatever, the seventies, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so whatever. your fan base is stupid, no. cause nigga. Man. But niggas on what I think what's that's why I think what's ain't always been relevant, bro. Uh, Snoop Dogg because he always show love to the young niggas. No, listen. And he, and well, he and listen, Snoop Dogg he, could not show love to the young niggas. Yeah. He'd still be relevant. Why? Because there's niggas that gonna listen to Snoop Dogg, bro. Yeah, you gonna listen yeah. to goddamn, bro. Even if that nigga dropped a song and like nigga. Smooth. Man, and you listen. I like to smooth. <laughs> you gonna be like, oh, that bitch, God, that nigga <laughs> yeah, Snoop shit yeah. right there, boy. <laughs> Cause you know what I'm saying That nigga got music Over across seas With people that we Ever know about That nigga Hey there literally Was a post that said Snoop is literally Everywhere He's yeah. in the movies yeah. That nigga's in Got them motherfucking People commercials yeah, yeah. My TV man's show, be talking nigga. In other people's languages <laughs> Like bro Like <laughs> hey, How you a... sound like Snoop Dogg in another language <laughs> <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga became A Jamaican and shit <laughs> Hey bro My <laughs> man say Nigga I'm, I'm not Snoop Dogg No more I'm Snoop Lion yeah, nigga, How Snoop you Lion. elevate From one mammal To another bro <laughs> like, that That's not even The dog. same guy Goddamn species, Man, bro. Dog, he nigga. Can't, that nigga supposed to be like a wolf or something. <laughs> <laughs> dog, that nigga funny as hell, dog. But no, Snoop is the, that's that's that nigga, dog. The most but recognizable, uh, well-known no, rapper I'm, ever. I'm, I'm gonna say E40. Yeah. Because E40 never changed not a thing about how he said nothing. That nigga been saying his shit the way he said it since <laughs> I got there. No. Like, bro, my man's, eh, he's one of the only rappers I know. It's like, bro, I'm going to give me a winery. What did that boy wouldn't do? He went and got him a winery. Like, yeah, come yeah. on, bro. Yeah, no. Like, we we got to give, give niggas like him, Master, Master P. Show. Hell yeah. Like, they flowers because, like, niggas be like, I'm going to do this, 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 and this, this, and this. And a lot of us be like, nigga, I just want to get famous. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, for sure. Bro, like, nigga, we got them put a peak on our limits. Like, hell we, yeah. Like, no, nigga, I, I made 500000 I'm happy. Hell yeah. Like, no, nigga, that, was P, your, that was your... That, that's like, one thing I never understood, dog. If I'm an up-and-coming rapper, dog, I'm in the game, nigga, I'm trying to soak up knowledge from them type of niggas. Man, yeah, especially Master P. Been nigga, he then reinvented himself. Did this? Bro, that nigga was my fucking man's in the made, NBA, nigga. My <laughs> man's made soap. Man, that nigga make everything. Nigga, <laughs> nigga Bro, got motherfucking rice. That nigga got dish soap. Man, they, Floor soap. Dog. Like, 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 like who wakes up and like, yeah, I'm gonna drop some masterpiece soap today. Dog. <laughs> that nigga doing that shit. That nigga, man, that nigga doing that shit for real, dog. Man, yeah. last thing I want to ask you about the music, bro. What, what's some, what's some short term goals, some long term goals you got for yourself, dog? 
Alright, so short term goals right now is really to get this studio up and really running like a train, how it's supposed to be. Because yeah. we got three rooms, we only got two functioning right now, so we get the third room popping, we gonna have a, like a bigger setup. Yeah. Then, probably ended up start looking for like producers or looking for artists to start, you know what I'm saying, bringing up. Cause like I got a couple of producers that I be keeping in mind, like Kaden and Jew, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That just young, that like can go. Yeah, for sure. I just want to be like, yeah. I just want to look over. It. I don't want nothing for you. I just want to look over what you got going on, and make sure that anything don't go. Hell yeah. Cause nigga, I done seen some contracts, bro. And some contracts be looking bold, bro. Fucked up. Niggas be, hey, be niggas that fuck you up off a little ass word, bro. Hell like yeah. a word like advance, bro. <laughs> nigga, you like damn, nigga. <laughs> Like man, I'm going to pay you. Then I be say advance. So you be like, oh, at least I'm getting forty five hundred. Like, yeah, bro, you gotta pay that bitch back before you. Yeah, Hell yeah, for sure. You ain't you, you didn't spend that shit. They got broke. Now you owe them niggas. Yeah. All that good shit, man. Goofy shit. But you know what I'm saying? Shit be you know what I'm saying? Shit be real and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's business. Like it's just business, bro. Yeah. You can't even get mad at the shit because business is business, bro. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure, dog. Hell yeah. Oh nigga, hot shit, nigga. You uh, uh, oh, the yeah. long time girl, bro. Bro, I'm trying to got that get the distribution deal to the point where I can make my own shit going on, bro. Yeah. Like I don't want to get the Manny package. I don't want the Manny Fresh package. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't just don't. I I, I want to work, but I just don't give you the Manny Fresh package. You be like, yeah, you just work with us. Yeah, yeah like, that's it. Fuck. That nigga was stuck and restricted to. Like, bro, that that was the only reason Cash why money. Manny Fresh didn't make it to be yeah. the god tier that he really really he was supposed to be because he's god tier without it. Yeah. But he would have been like nigga. he would been stepping all over goddamn Scott Storch's neck with a goddamn motherfucking pipe. Like yeah, yeah. hear your pipe back, boy. Yeah, for sure, yeah. nigga. Yeah, but that nigga was yeah he was he was just nigga all Wayne Juvie. That's it, nigga. Yeah, Nobody outside like, this motherfucker camp. Right, nigga. Like you think you think that nigga would have had a Beyonce song, bro? That Man, nigga, bro, that's probably would have had the coldest Beyonce <laughs> song they would have no, ever came out, bro. Had some shit. You been this bitch say about so goddamn mother. You be looking at this nigga like, bro, you just made the new female hate at them. <laughs> right. That nigga made fresh definitely got restricted from baby and them. Hell like. yeah, bro. Nigga, nigga, Manny Fresh would have had a Mary J. Bly song, <laughs> nigga. Like, <laughs> 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 nigga. She all hating all niggas on that nigga shit. This nigga stop <laughs> niggas niggas and shit. She and that bitch like, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> She and that bitch marrying it up. Talk about some boom, boom, bat. Yeah, dog. Yeah, <laughs> dog. Man, we always end shit off, dog. I give you a category, man. Give me your top three. Give me your top three. Give me your top three motherfucking uh, top three rappers, dog. Ever. Ever. Yep. Or if you you want to do ever, or you want to do current, whichever you you choose. All right. I make a lot of people mad with the number one every time. Eminem, you already know. All right. Cause you know what I'm saying Literally currently There's nobody Doing the shit That this boy Is doing to music Right now bro Yeah And then You know what I'm saying At the M I give it to my boy Andre 3000 Yeah Cause Andre 3000 Creatively is probably Only person Whose music I pretty much Grew up watching And it was like I kind of understand that how he got to writing the songs that he was writing. Because when it comes to me writing my songs, I write my songs in the same format. Yeah. Is I can't let nobody else make the beat for me. It's yeah, like, sure. And, like, I kind of got to know how to make the feel for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I get into a space where I be like, uh, yeah, I don't feel like doing music. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then number three. Uh-huh. I don't know, cause I don't really listen to a lot of it. <laughs> uh, I just think, like I'm still gonna slide with my voice, Slick, cause Slick Rick literally, when growing up, bro, yeah. it, it was just something different about what the hell that nigga was talking about, bro. It's yeah, like yeah. I learned a lot just listening to the goofy shit that he was talking about, how he talked about it. Yeah. Other than how a lot of people just literally wrapped your ears off, like a lot of niggas really just had like a couple songs that I like. I was like, I don't think I ever ran into a Slick Rick song that I didn't like. Yeah, for sure. Alright, give me your top three uh give me your top three hood movies. Top three hood movies? <laughs> you gonna laugh at me because I don't watch hood movies. Uh let's see. I did see uh Minister Society, so I fuck with that. Hell yeah, number one nigga, number one. I paid him for it, I fuck with that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And then I watch Belly all the fucking time. So this nigga hate that, bitch, hey, that, that bitch come on too damn much, so it's like almost <laughs> like you almost damn near. Hey, look, because the thing is, bro, it's between Belly and Shotas for me, bro. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, give me your uh, give me your top three uh, moments in life, bro. Or some deep, deep, bro. 
top three moments of life. The top one moment that got dang kind of changed me for the different was when my pops died when I was 10. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying, it kind of shook my family up and had me actually kind of steered to certain people yeah. and other than people who really wasn't for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, shoot, middle school when I got uh, the Legion of the Year Award, yeah. the top, like the literally the top reward of the school. Yeah. Not even understanding how the fuck I got that. I was a goddamn <laughs> fucking slacker. Yeah, yeah. But like other than that, like I did do my homework and all that stuff. But and I played all sports, so like that pretty much probably did. Like I literally did everything there was to do inside that school. If it was acting, like I went to school with uh, Ziki from Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the nigga here, yeah, nigga be calling. Like yeah. Daniel, Daniel Bellamy. Yeah. Like we would play basketball together at that school. Like yeah, yeah, nigga was sure. that tall. Yeah, yeah but but nigga, nigga, nigga that was that tall then. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He literally like. He almost, I ain't gonna lie, he was motivation for real. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like, a nigga that I seen doing something that he said, I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's doing that shit. He's really doing what the fuck he said he was yeah, gonna yeah, do. Yeah, that's dope. Like, a lot of my friends from that middle school yeah. literally are doing exactly what they said they was gonna yeah, do. Yeah, that's what's so up. it's like, damn, almost like that. Pressure. Yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah, go yeah, do yeah, what the fuck you say. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't be an go old nigga yeah, like that nigga used right. to be. And they gonna be like, hey, I, that nigga used to go to my cab with me, nigga. That nigga used to, used to be a good ass producer, yeah, yeah. bro. That yeah, nigga, yeah. Now that nigga just make beats for niggas for $25 every time. You gotta buy some beers and shit. Yeah, yeah. Duh. All right, All right, last one. Last moment, dog. Last, last moment in life that changed you, nigga. Made you feel good. Man, having my daughter for real. Yeah, I was hoping you said that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was that like, yeah, <laughs> my daughter. That 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 changed me for the Hell greater. Yeah. Man, kids do that shit for sure. Cause either you gonna boy. be a, either you gonna be a, a bum ass nigga or you gonna step up one or two, dog. Man. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. A lot of these niggas be choose to be the bum ass nigga. Hell they be yeah. like, hell yeah, bum ass nigga, it is. I was Duh. like, give me your uh, give me give me your top, give me your top three high snacks. Um, how you got a snack with these motherfuckers? Um, See. that that. That Taco Bell fiery taco, that bitch fiery. Now, man, they discontinued that bitch hey, my house. at our state. Look in our <laughs> state. Look, look, they did us so bold man. during. Look, they did us so bold, bold during the championship. Like, how y'all gonna drop a damn fucking this whole little situation? <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even here, man, bro. Duh. I'm so disrespectful. Man, I'm like, that, I, I'm at Taco Bill down there every day. Like, it's here yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm at this. Got them nasty ass new she's got them fucking slushies though. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, got to bring my taco, but I got them nasty ass slushies. All right, yeah, cool. This nigga, this nigga a Taco Bell uh, visitor for real. Like, mm. All right, so you got Taco Bell as one of your motherfucking hot shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, what's the Vintner Boys? The uh, corn the corn chips that. Uh, what? Yeah, them vet them when I don't remember the red. Hot boys. Yeah, it's stupid hot. Yeah. It, it, the ones to be in the black 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 bag. The, the <laughs> black 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 bag. Duh, fuck that. I and then that and shit. then them crunk the ones to be in the little nugget form. Oh yeah. Boy. <laughs> 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 the bitch do me a little hey, bit of the fucking hey, hey, simple. Nigga. Nigga boy be walking on the street like Man, hell no, that bitch is too hot, nigga. I can't like, have that. You know what I'm saying? I can't eat, like, no type of form of cashews, nuts, yeah. or none of that shit, because yeah. I'm allergic to that shit. So, oh, like, so I can't shit, like, be like, just, like, shaking. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, <so> <laughs> eat a peanut like, or some sunflower seed, you know, get sick and shit. Like, so I'm going to take with some fucking chips and be like, I just nigga die from his motherfucking peanuts. M&M's Damn. or something, bro. Man, all right, what's your third one, nigga? I feel like that was the third one. No, hell no. You got, got the corn chips and then you got oh, the... Oh, I thought you had the bitch as a uh, <laughs> combination. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't eat no other hot shit. You know what I'm saying? I got like colitis <laughs> and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I so, can't eat no hot shit at all, nigga. I just be shitting like uh, motherfucker. I mean, I can't either. <laughs> but who the fuck gonna stop Man, me? Man, fuck that. I can't even handle that shit. All right, last one, dog. Top three childhood crushes. Huh? Childhood crushes. Top three. Chicks you like when you was, when you was a little nigga. Uh, so chicks, I like when I was a young nigga. Let's see. Hell yeah, nigga. Uh, try to get niggas killed though. The goddamn. <laughs> no, he was a young nigga. He was like ten, nigga. Still try to get niggas killed. Uh, uh, Yellow Ranger and shit, nigga. Motherfucker Aisha and shit. Uh, uh, what? Well, like we had uh, Nikki from our Herbert. 
No, 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 I'm talking, this is stupid shit. I'm Hey, but then you got, uh, we got Arkeela and then, uh. You still name it Chicks from the Hood? No, not from the Hood. Duh. I'm talking shit, bro. But yeah, you got Nikki. This is real. <laughs> no, cause I, I ain't gonna lie. My, I had a like the crush, Nikki. Not even one. I'm talking about from Harper, from yeah. Harper. But she was the motherfucking one. I actually made me be like, nigga, I have not ever gonna be faithful when I was a kid. Like, bro, I'm not <laughs> no. gonna ever be faithful. I swear to God. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck she is now, nigga? I don't know, nigga. I don't keep up with motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Reed, no. do not give me fuck for real. Like, hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, when I got my girl, bro, I really just, like... Became super, super faithful, man? I, I, bro, my girl wiped my mom, grandma's ass when she was sick, bro. Oh, she... Like, nigga, can't, you, like, can't you, can't, you can't, you can't get no... Hell you can't no. do no wrong in my eyes right now. No. Until you do some wrong. You can't do no. You can't do no wrong in my eyes to teach us wrong. Hell, duh, duh. Yeah, cause I, 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 we was talking about this shit earlier about cheating. Though I came, I ain't got the stomach to do that shit no more. Bro, man. listen, bro. I don't understand how niggas can talk on the phone that much. <laughs> Nigga, I relearn a whole new person. It's shit, not even just relearning the whole person, cause you don't gotta learn the motherfucker. It's just you actually have to answer the fucking phone. Man, she be like, "What you doing?" He be like, "Damn." Uh. <laughs> What I tell her? See, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, yeah. where, where did I tell her I was at? For, I don't got the, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't got the time. I don't got time yeah. to remember names, and I don't like, well, uh, like a whole bunch of people calling me Bay at the same time. Man, now I know you should have a, a good story for this one. We end everything off the. You gotta give me a story on a high moment or a drunk moment. A story you was oh, fucked up and you high, man. drunk or both. All right, look, I like, I like telling this high story. So, break a shit. <laughs> This is 2007 when I just got to college, bro. Yeah. And I went to a college party, bro. Yeah. And these niggas had mushroom pizza. All right. Shit so bad. I thought. Yeah, yeah, I said. <laughs> so I thought. Yeah. It was uh, cyclobin mushrooms. Duh. Fuck that. I had like three of them bitches. Yeah, it's right. <sighs> Nigga and this bitch playing Super Smash Brothers 3D. Yeah. Nigga Pikachu out here talking about so Pikachu. Nigga, I, the motherfucker. Oh, I see the sparks coming off the TV, bro. Yeah. Nigga got down my homeboy money is over talking about some white tiger. All of a sudden, all of our eyes went to the left. And yeah. saw a white tiger show up. Duh, what the fuck, duh? All right, bro. Duh. All right. So I'm like, I'm high. That's high. Yeah, I say, I'm high. high. I say, I'm about to leave. That's for sure is the plan. Get out the apartment room. Go to the elevator. I push the button, so I thought. Yeah. <laughs> nigga been standing there for 15 <laughs> minutes, bro. Duh. Duh. <laughs> nigga, if I got the roommate, Jordan had to pick me up and take me to my fucking room. Duh. I, just, I can imagine your ass just looking at me. <laughs> bro, Duh. but he understood what happened, though. Yeah. But hey, like these are things that you only can do with your white friends. You can't oh, do yeah, this with sure. your black friends. Your black friends won't understand. Hell no. Your black friend will like that nigga retarded. Man. I'm gonna leave, that nigga, right right <laughs> <laughs> leave that nigga right there. I'm gonna leave that nigga right there. Nigga been there for two days waiting to like, dog. That's how <laughs> like, my that's how my brother Chu was, dog, when he had that mushroom, dog. Nigga, I woke up out the bed, this nigga just was running from me. Like Nigga kept running from me. I'm like, what's wrong with this nigga? I'm like fourteen, right, so I don't know what the fuck going on. I mean, bro, listen, listen. It 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 I went to, I want to say, what's the goddamn club out in fucking? She been downtown. Club, no. it's like club in fucking Pontiac, bro. Plus cargos. You funny as hell. <laughs> 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 we had the club and shit, and Vezo and all them performing. Nigga, we don't have time to fucking like a, seven grams of fucking shrooms and shit. Yeah. So. I mean, this bitch, Super Ray and fucking Danny Mills' head stunt switch bodies. Duh, this nigga, <laughs> this nigga <laughs> fucked up, dog. Duh. Hey, bro, my nigga Peasy on stage rapping, looking like the airhead balloon. Man, hell no. Nah. <laughs> nigga, you fucked up. I and every time I swear Vezel was rapping, I was getting mad because it's like his music was just way too intense. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> like, Duh. Niggas yeah. get frustrated there. Yeah. Like, I mean this bitch like I just wanna be a... 
Man, like bro, like the lights, like the lights weren't making it no better, bro. But the thing is, what didn't make it no better is the person that I was with. Yeah. The nigga was even higher on shrooms than I was. Duh, so that exactly. nigga and that bitch spraying motherfuckers with the bottle of champagne and shit, bro. Man. Like I'm seeing in my eyes that the situation getting bad. Yeah. But nigga, somehow he just waved his hand and everything just dissolved. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Now just imagine how I went crazy off of the motherfucking uh, edibles. So imagine some mushrooms, nigga. Nigga. Yeah. I got acid moments. I got what? Yeah. Duh, this nigga. Yeah. Fuck that, nigga. Bro, like, nigga. I be going crazy. Nigga. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I like psycho type drugs. Like, man, like, hell no. I, I like weed. Fucking... Hey, because the thing is, bro, all these drugs are non man made. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? If you can grow this your damn self yeah, yeah, yeah. So Like you I don't never heard a person Like I'm addicted to acid Like Yeah for sure <laughs> like, yeah. Never heard a person Like I'm addicted to shrooms Like To just yeah. You can get addicted to weed Cause you smoking weed Out of something Like a fucking Like a leaf Or something Or paper And you get addicted To the damn fucking You know what I'm saying All the little nicotine and shit that's inside. That's what you're getting addicted to. You're not even really getting addicted to the fucking weed, for real. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Well, shit, I'm glad I don't do none of that shit. (laughs) Cause my shit. We don't need you to. You already being paranoid and shit. Hell no, nigga, for real, nigga. I think we out here gorilla zone. Nigga, I'll be. I'll probably. Yeah, I probably would kill my damn self. (laughs) Looking full way. (laughs) So shit, man. Where can't find your ass? Where can't check you out? Get some, get some real beats and shit, dog. Hey, you can find me on Instagram at. With Kid Silly V, that's W I Z K I D D X S I L L E V on Instagram. Also, Silly V dot Beats. And you can find me on Air Beats at With Kid Silly V, same way. Yeah. Facebook, Quinn Raleigh. I ain't even gonna lie, to you. I don't care. <laughs> that's my name. Yeah. Find me on there. I got beats on there too. For sure. Yeah. Pretty much, hey, or you just, you know, like, pull up to Redford, you know what I'm saying, to Redford Lost and get beats, bro. Like, you probably get better deals if you pull up. All right, yeah, you heard it, man. Go out there and get a beat. Make sure you ain't got no ass, uh, no ass shit you about to record on there. Yeah, nigga, all because I will got to have my back turned to be like. <laughs> <laughs> nigga be up and hey, sleeping and shit. Hey, you know what the best thing about the coronavirus, bro? You get to put the mask on and niggas got them do some stupid shit and niggas don't even know that you're laughing at their ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <hell yeah. laughs> so if somebody do some stupid shit, you just put the mask on and be like, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, show it. <laughs> hey, he grew into my shit. <laughs> yeah, they show it. Nigga, that motherfucker, like, oh, he feeling this, he feeling this. You ain't got that nigga spinning harder now, nigga. Like, dog, you sitting here, man. I appreciate you coming through, man. No problem, bro. Like no I said, we problem, talked about man. this shit for months, dog. We made that shit happen, dog. No problem, bro. So you want, do you want to give people some encouraging words, dog, before you leave? Like, don't do drugs? Hey, look. <laughs> even though we look. Even just got pissed about drugs. Like, Uncle Snow say smoke weed every day. Oh, yeah. But, um, look. Don't get into this music goddamn business to make friends, bro. Because you ain't going to make no motherfucking friends in this shit, for real. You're going to make some acquaintance. Yeah. You're going to meet some people that are going to feel like going to be your friends. But at the end of the day, it's going to be all business. And when that shit turns to all business, boy, you're going to get your heart broke. Yeah. And understand, when you're doing a producing job, you're going to get your heart broke a lot. Oh, you got to have to take that shit with a grain of salt every time. Because yeah. one thing you got to understand is you one person, your brain, that's your brain. You only see how your brain works. You don't know how everybody else brain works. So when you're doing your shit, bro. Make sure it's making sense for you, not yeah. for them. You know what I'm saying? And in a way, when you put that much thought to it and you do what you got to do, you're not taking no loss. Because if they fall off, you can just move on. You just use whatever you did yeah. as a bigger platform to step up. Hell yeah. Fast, that nigga some good words right there. That was deep. Real deep, nigga. You know, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. Cause no. nigga, I wish a nigga would have told me that, bro. When I yeah. got into this shit, bro, as soon as I start got them seeing niggas like, yeah, I'm famous now, bro. I will holler at you later, like, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Shit, man. My my shit. I don't. I don't even got nothing, dog. Usually I come up with some clever shit, some funny shit, dog. I ain't got nothing, dog. My shit, my shit, damn, my shit, oh yeah, don't drop shit while you recording. <laughs> <laughs> and shit, my shit, uh, if you, if you, I was sick while they got heads, yeah, bro, my man's out here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you can't handle uh, weed, Good football. don't smoke weed, 
<laughs> and she, we down here sweating because I mean, you heard me get off this bitch because the producer sweating his ass off. This nigga got some bees on there. Sweating. <laughs> <laughs> sweat like a motherfucking child prayer at a motherfucking park. Can you dog. sweat. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga over here keeps sweating a lot. <laughs> the quiet storms. <laughs> that nigga over here chest sweating. Hey, that nigga over here like, no, please end this bitch. <laughs> Hey, you know how you gonna uh, bump my arm? Hey, let me get those, let me get those tenders extra wet. Help me, nigga. Hey, that nigga, he be that nigga looked at that nigga like, you still got more shit to say? <laughs> you still got more shit to say, huh? Okay. And I saw that nigga switch the hat to the back. You saw every <laughs> That nigga turned got the Pokemon ass catch him. That nigga was sweating like Patrick Ewan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'll let y'all, man. Peace out. <laughs> God damn.